fucking music that people could listen to. Fuck the Jonas Brothers. I was a loner. Brett Box was an addict. Fucking to a T. Doing all kinds of weird catnip kind of shit. And, but together we were coherent. And we made, we made things that people want to listen to. And they just ate it up. And we're probably the greatest rap group of all time. And I'll fucking, I'll, I'll tell you why. We always had a plan, like, you gotta, you gotta, like, let people know we all in the same situation, you know what I'm saying? And we're, we gotta speak to the eyes, you know what I mean? Like, you guys, you all have, like, life story. Everybody's life is great. But, like, at the same time, we all have something to say. But, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, for me, my uh, my gram, my grandma, she, she never liked rap music. It's a different generation for her. She liked folk music and bluegrass. And she told me I couldn't do it. She said I couldn't go through with it. And I said, you know what, Graham? Like, fuck you, you old. I'm going to take half your shit when you die. So that's just how it's going to be, you old fuck. So, I mean... I proved wrong, I came out with these nice fucking flows, these nice raps, the things that you guys love, and uh, to this day, I mean, I crop dust her grave when I walk past, I just fucking shit and wipe it, you know what I mean? Like, she's fucking that, that, that bitch. You know what I mean? My aunt, like, she always, like, has, like, we listen to music, you know what I mean? We listen to the tunes on the big knob. She'd always have the knobs there, you know? And she'd always be like, yo, you come off the lines, you know what I mean? She'd always be like, come off the lines, but like, you know what I mean? You can't like, you know, if that's what you want for like a president, you know, she'd call you in for the lines and you'd have to be like, oh my God, you gotta cut the grass, you know what I mean? But like, that's not what you want to do. Because like, every time she'd call you in, you gotta do some more, you know what I mean? I mean, that's pretty much how it fucking Sorry, no. Yo, so obviously we know you're here to watch our fucking raps because you love rap music. And if you don't like rap music, you're full of shit. Uh, kind of like your mom who I boned last night. Fucking boom. Diarrhea. Um, but we have some new tracks coming out. We have fucking, I can't say his name, but he's a cool guy. So me and Breadbox, we out. Having a good time, I was drinking some Malibu shots, he was drinking some gasoline, fucking snorting some uh, concrete dust or some shit. And we ran into this guy, and he's very cool, super, he's pretty in shape, um, and he's just coming out on the track, and he's all, oh, he's delicious, man. Delicious. Oh yeah, dude, like me and my buddy, like, oh, we go way back, like we used to be in the project. I mean, We've been in projects together ever since the start, like, he's such a good guy. I'm excited to get him on this track. There's some stuff that we're not allowed to tell you yet, you know what I mean? Like, but, I mean, he used to, I mean, like, you know what I mean? He used to have legs, and he'd like, you know, let me hand me over. You, you're talking, are you saying? And then we get on it. And then every now and then you got to, we got to, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. Yo, 
yo, yo, yo, it's your boy, Dizzy Slamna. Uh, my rap name? Well, uh, the Dizzy part came out with, uh, I think I went to Hibachi, I had some bad sushi, I went to the Millville Carnival, I hopped on that carousel thing, and I was fucking this carny and slapping my nuts. Fuck, that's a complete lie. I, um, I was doing some, some of these fucking whippets, I guess it's when you take a shopping and you put up the asshole, that's what my friend told me. And then I just started fucking beating off in the back of the trailer. Oh fuck, that's not. Uh, don't delete that part, alright? Shit. Three in the morning. Where you find yourself? In the bread box. <laughs> My influences, I mean, well, I'm not, as far as drugs and alcohol go, I mean, not not so much, but like, music-wise, I like me some ZZ Top, Van Halen, fucking Sammy Hagar, well, I don't know about him, actually, but we got, um, we got Infinite Annihilator, Con Effects, Suicide Silence, um, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of line, oh, you want rappers, don't you? Fuck. I mean, I don't really listen to rap. <laughs> my family life, I mean, it's a lot different than my life life. I mean, my family life was a bit fucked up. Uh, every Easter, we'd all hang out and we play uh, Find the Egg, but the main egg would be underneath my dad's nutsack and it would have chiclets in it. And as you know, you can't eat chiclets. I mean, that shit. If a gopher eats chiclets, it destroys his stomach lining or some shit like that. But like, and every Thanksgiving, my mom would stuff the, the turkey with some anal beads and I'd try to cut that, cut it up. And obviously you don't cut anal beads up. It don't work that way. And Uncle Jesse, every Halloween, instead of playing dress up and dressing like a ghost, he would just fucking I don't know what he would do. It was just weird. Something with a whistle and some ice cubes. I don't know. It's fucking dark. Anyway, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm alright. No, but my life is great. You know, I'm just dizzy slapping that, you know, fucking rhyme all the time, man. Like, yeah, my life is good. My family's good. I mean, my uncle Jesse's not a pervert. He's not in jail right now. Right? <laughs> I always told her I was good. Wow, like, I love when people ask me this question. I actually, like, I used to have, like, deer, like, we'd watch the deer in the yard all the time. They'd become tame because of you know, like, I always had, like, a goldfish that died. Excuse me one sec. This horse hunts you in the old high. I didn't really mean to run that. But everybody would be like, you know what you gotta do. And then you'd like grab the deer, you bring it in, you forget to change the water this one time, you know. But any, anyhow, like, I'm, I'm my only child. It's so fucking hard being the best rap group of all time. With great power comes great responsibility. And my Aunt May told me that. And like, life is like a box of cockpits, or whatever the fuck she said. And, um, that's the, that's the goddamn, that's the, that's the truth behind it. Like, you never know. How did she say it? I don't remember what the fuck she said. But, we have some good shit coming out, so stay tuned, and we fucking going right at it, you know what I mean? Whoa!